Welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Christine. It is a beautiful fall day here in Michigan. So today we are going to make pumpkin pancakes. Come with me, let's get started. The first thing we need is one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Quarter cup of sugar. I am using a teaspoon of baking powder. If you want your pancakes fluffier, add a whole tablespoon. Three quarters teaspoon salt, teaspoon cinnamon, and half a teaspoon of pumpkin pie spice. Give that a stir, get it well combined. Smells good already. Now we just need to set this aside. Cup of milk. Don't spill it like I did. An egg. Teaspoon of good vanilla. A quarter cup of melted butter. And the star of the show, a cup of pumpkin puree. Get this well combined. Beautiful color. And then get this combined with the flour mixture. And here we have pumpkin pancake batter. I'm not going to over stir this, it's important because you don't want the gluten to develop. So I'm just gently bringing it all together like so. Let's head over to the stove and cook up some pumpkin pancakes. We are going to get some butter melting. We are going to cook these low and slow. We are going to make our pancakes with about a third of a cup. Right into the center of your buttered pan. And we are going to try to form a circle. My next question is, what do you think I should top my pumpkin pancakes with? I am thinking just syrup and whipped cream. Comment down below, what do you think would be good? I could do something with cinnamon. I could add cinnamon to the whipped cream. I don't know. Let me know how you guys like your pumpkin pancakes. It's starting to get a little brown around the edges. And when I see a bubble or two, I will flip it. I don't see any bubbles, but it feels like it needs to be fl flipped. It smells like it needs to be flipped. Oh yes. Yes. I think these are going to be so good, you guys. They smell so good. I'm not a breakfast eater, but this is something that I love for dessert. I'm really happy with the puffiness. I don't like my pancakes overly puffy, but certainly if you do, just add more baking powder, like I said. And if you like them a little flatter, like I do, use less baking powder and you'll get them to the consistency that you like. When I cook the next one, I'll time it so you guys know how long I did it per side. Okay, I just peeked. And the other side looks perfect. Here is our first pumpkin pancake. Let's do the rest. Oh 
Look at that. So pretty. Okay. I still have probably three more pancakes that I can make, but let's give these a taste test. Let's hit this with a little syrup. Look at that. cinnamon what do you think guys let's give it a taste test look at this I can't even describe the smell and the whole vibe here this is serious fall sweetness Those are by far the best pancakes I've ever had. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So easy too. This recipe was super simple. I highly, highly recommend that you try it. I just want to say thanks for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.